guys, welcome back to Minecraft. So today we are at my Minecraft estate here, and uh, we are going, I'm going to show you something really cool that I built in the water. I think you might know what it already is, and it has something to do with this dock. So we just got to fly out to the water, and I'll get back to you when we get there. Okay guys, we're here. This is it. This is my Minecraft version of a 92 Viking convertible, and I'm going to give you a tour. So we're going to start in the cockpit and work our way forward. So here we have a large tuna door, and uh, we have a lot of, we have lights that you could put up during the night, and they kind of fold into the wall so you don't really notice them. We have multiple live wells. We have a large uh, chair. Both these live wells, uh, port and starboard, are the same. In here is where the Eskimo ice chipper dumps its ice. You can also use that as a live well. Here is some storage along the staircase. There's a lot of that bait and tackle storage. We also have lights running along the top. This is just a view of the back of the boat. It's called Nerf Port. He's the name of my channel. We've got some lights and we have the three propellers. So this door here leads down to the the guest accommodations and the engine room and the bathrooms down below. Like basically where the, everybody would stay. But we're not gonna go there first. Let's make our way up to the saloon. Now we're heading up to the stairs. This is the second part of the cockpit. It's just kind of like a little grill area play station. We've got a little couch here, and into the saloon we go. So here we have a TV. We got a little relaxing area with some uh, couches and a coffee table. We've got a chest. Uh, here, I think this is kind of cool. It looks like a table, but this is actually a ladder leading to the guest accommodations downstairs. Uh, here we have like a little reading area with a garbage can, because that, that's totally a garbage can right there. Uh, this is the galley. We have the freezer and fridge drawers with a lot of freezer and fridge storage down below. We, why is there? I don't know why that's there. Okay, and then we have two sinks, an uh, oven, an anvil, and we've got a bunch of things. Okay, so here is kind of like the eating area right across from the kitchen. This is where you would call everybody up to eat. So as we go ahead at the kitchen, in here, they're both the same. There's just kind of like a, I guess you would use this as like a pantry, and I, this one is like storage for fishing tackle. So, so now we're back in the cockpit of the boat, and we're going to head through and see what we could find in the guest accommodation. So here is the engine room. It's got all sorts of stuff for all three engines. And there's the electronics box down here, too, making it all easy access for everything you need. Here is a bathroom. Now this is an area that'll lead you right up to the okay. top here, and you could, this is my sneaky little area. Remember, you could open that up and go out. So if we go here, there is like I guess this is like the kids' bedroom. Is there right there? It also has an ensuite, but it also doubles as a day. Head because it has an entrance there. So we're in the next bedroom. They've got a nice TV, and that's the bed chest. Now, if you come here, there's a another or there's a little bathroom here, shower, and everything. Most of the bathrooms are like the same size in that, except for the one in the master. And then here's another bed. They do share bathrooms, but that bathroom is pretty big, so no problem if you have bunch of people uh, uh, brushing their teeth in there. Okay, so as we come into here, this is the master bedroom. Now we've got a nice big bed that I'm just hopping on, and we've got a TV, and we have some armor stands here. Now, there's two entrances into, oh wait, why am I crouching? Coach, coach, coach. So we go in here, and we have a toilet, flashy, 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 whatever. Okay, and then we've got a nice chest. And we have the sinks. Here's the shower. Boom. E, we're going out. And that's pretty much it for all the guest accommodations, and bedrooms, and all that. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go through the secret entrance here. Yeah. So we just basically came out through the hall, which is kind of cool. 
So now if we want to go up to the next deck, uh, the driving area, there's also a way to get up. Uh, you, if you come out here, you could get up through right here, which is down to the cockpit. There's a bunch of lights up here that you could open up during the night when you want to use them. And then here is a nice couch with a TV if anybody wants to join the captain but they want entertainment. We've got some books here. And then this is the uh, bridge where we have controls. Let's power her up. Power her up. And then if the captain wants, if the captain hears that some, there's some sort of action on the back of the boat, they can quickly open this up and run out the side. Yeah, I, I know, this is actually kind of impractical. Okay, he's gonna have to jump off a short cliff there, and then he can easily, totally easily see what's happening in the back of the cockpit. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through. But, yeah. So, when we go back in, let's get out of here. So now when we're on the next, next floor, we have the driving, like this is the steering wheel, we've got captain's companions. We've got a nice windshield so you don't get blown around by the wind, which is pretty rare on Vikings. And then we've got a nice little seat here. Oh, wait, what's going on? We also have storage for the captain to keep his stuff in while he's fish while he's driving. And this one is actually better. So if you could just jump down here and see what's going on in the cockpit. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to check out the rigging. This is mostly just like a roof for the decks. Up here would be your tuna tower where you could, it's a Palm Beach tuna tower, just so you know, where you could look out for any marlin jumping. And then it just goes up to where the trollers now, uh, if you were to use the teasers, which are located up here and here, this, they could fold out and then, yeah. So, up here we have where the, uh, boats go. We've got these two little dinghies here. And if it's rough weather and you're worried about your dinghies going away, you could tie them down or put up this, which this will really help because it, it's a wall. And then when you're coming into harbor and you want to like show off your dinghies, hey look, I got this. I got two dinghies on one boat. Look at this, boys. You could just put these down and be like, hey everybody, look at my dinghies. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my 92 Viking in Minecraft. See you guys in the next episode.